put him in the car. What's up, boys? We're gonna do a little repair. This is my ice fishing shanty. As you can see, one of the, use the line right off of here. Use a dollar store needle and make it happen. One of these poles is coming out of its sleeve. This is what it's supposed to be. And this is what I've got here. Now it happened before I fixed it up. Um, well, I'll show you when it's off. I fixed it up using fishing line and a needle, uh, but the needle I use is no longer with us. So we got the new kit. Using fishing line, this is, uh, I think it's like 60 pound Power Pro, old, old musky reel. Just gonna use the line right off of here. All right, boys, let's do a little unpacking. Buttons. Safety pins and other pins. Probably won't be using that today. String, thread, not sure. Don't need it. Tape measure, ooh, look at that. Look at that, oh my God. I think, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep this. I think I'm gonna put this in my boat once it's all done. Yeah, I think I'm, whoops. God dang. Dollar store stuff, boys, only the finest. Thread. Thread, thread, thread. Scissors. Those are nice, we're keeping them. For those of you that have played Monopoly, you're familiar with Thimble. Came with a dime, so you get 10 cents back. No, I'm just kidding, it's not a dime, it's a threader. <laughs> These. This is what we need. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna take ourselves some of this here, some of this here Power Pro. Nice long, nice long stretch. And then we're gonna open these scissors. We're gonna try our best not to break them because they're very fragile. Snap. Okay, well, that's uh. Cheating a little bit using uh, surgical scissors. Watch this. Ha! Isn't that somehow easy that was? Now, next, I'm gonna take this, okay? This is a strap that came with my boat cover that I just don't need. I just take a couple inches because the hole that I'm trying to fill is only, you know, yay big. It's really small. This is gonna go over the hole, and then I'm gonna stitch this on at the same time as stitching the hole closed. As opposed to just stitching the hole closed, then that stitching's real easy to bust through. But with this, it's a little extra, uh, little extra layer, I guess. So, makes me feel safer, seems to work. You've done this, done it this way already, it works great. Uh, what is this, nylon? Fat, what is it, what would you call this? Straight, it's just a strap, you know, it's a strap. You, you know what it is, strap, strap material. Then, you take the strap material. You see how there's a hole in the rods coming out? We don't want that. See how the one next to it? See how there's that little flap that holds it in? That's what we're gonna try to recreate. Strap material over the hole. You figure out, okay, we want it right here. So then, boom. I push my needle through. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same stitch. I'm gonna come through the top, out the back, come around, boom, 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 boom. It's not pretty, it's not uh, it's not Martha Stewart caliber, but it gets the job done. Now watch. All right, boys, um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run around, I'm gonna patch all these real quick, get them all fixed up, reinforced. Probably gonna set this thing up and make sure everything's strong enough. Uh, in the meantime, this is some footage from earlier today. Today is January 1st. Happy New Year's, everybody. I forgot to say that. So I figured I'd throw the drone up and, and check it all out. We got some snow last night, so it looks really cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Click thumbs up if you liked it. Click thumbs up if you didn't like it. Click subscribe and, uh, and comment down below uh, what you guys want to see more of. Do you guys like the pan fishing stuff? You guys want to see some bigger fish, tip ups? What do you, you know? Just let me know what you guys want to see. Maybe we can organize something around here. Thank you guys. Ah, put them in the boat.
Real quick, just want to say a uh, big shout out, Joke and Jealous Bait and Tackle. If you're ever in the Three Lakes, Eagle River area, um, you need live bait, any kind of terminal tackle, different, you know, uh, bass lures, musky lures, walleye lures, I mean, whatever. Whatever you can think of, he's got it. He's a friendly guy. He'll put you on fish if you don't know the area very well. If you do know the area very well, you probably know who this guy is. Thank you, Joke and Joe. Good. See the patch job? Holding her all together like a mother. Just kidding.